Hello everyone, welcome. Um, it's really a pleasure and an honor for me to, to welcome everyone here. There's some people that's not here yet, but they will be walking in. Hi, Remy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run through just a bunch of logistics and then say a bit about the event and then we can get started. The first thing I want to do is thank you, say thank you to all of our sponsors. So it wouldn't be possible, of course, if we didn't have kind people uh, contributing to this. And firstly, we would like to thank the Donors Institute, and especially Toldy Staines, who's been uh, extremely helpful uh, to us uh, in helping organize this, and the Donors Institute for making this venue available, which is awesome. So thank you very much for that. And then all of the other uh, names on there um, gave us money, gave us some webcam covers, gave us support. Um, so thank you very much. I also posted this on Twitter and added the people or the institutions, so they should know that we are thankful. Um, I said this, but there's an extra slide because we're extra grateful. Also, thank you to the people who organized it. It's been great fun, um, and I think yeah, the fun will just increase over the next few days. Uh, thank you very much to the organizing committee. Thank you to everyone who's here, who's supporting this event, um, making it more interesting and actually useful such that we can learn from each other and then go out and multiply the knowledge. So the day uh, will start today. Uh, we have day one, day two, day three. Day one is all in this room, a bunch of talks, a bunch of conversations. Um, and then we will have day two and day three, which are similar, hack track in parallel with the train track. If you're gonna do the train track and uh, you haven't received the installation instructions for all the different tools we're gonna use, or if you haven't done that, or if you have problems, you are welcome to come speak to us, anyone um, on that photo, except for the ones that aren't here. Um, so please do that today because then we can start fresh tomorrow. Um, the hack track will be in the Adel Bertus room and Willem Leifeld room, uh, or in the cafeteria, or uh, if stuff is happening here, you can also sit there on top and then just try to keep it down. Um, same for day three. Um, and the train track on the second day will be in a different room, instruction room, we will tell you where that is, we can show you around. And in day three, it will mostly be here again. So just take note of that. Um, breaks, uh, start of the day, you can just go to where we were just now, the um, uh, cafeteria, there's coffee. And we will also have extra coffee during the, the confirmed breaks for this event. <coughs> if you brought a mug, please use that, trying to try to limit waste. Um, and then also the lunch and drinks will be in this main corridor when you walk out of this room. What I think could be nice is, or what at least is nice for me, is to make buttons. So we, we printed a bunch of design and we have this button presser thingy. So if you, are, uh, if you see it in the break, you can use it um, and make your own buttons. You can also just cut out the thingy and do your own design. Uh, so that you can use. Uh, and also what I like is this Pac-Man rule for conferences, which is not like let's devour each other it's more like always leave a space in a circle for someone to join so that we're more inclusive. Um, so please try and take that into account when you discuss things with people outside. Some more things, uh, we have EduRoam. If you cannot use EduRoam, we do have cards with specific EduRoam guest accounts. So you can go to one of the organizing committee's team members for that. Um, if you post on social media, please use that hashtag uh, this one. Um, we will make all of this, uh, the video content and the slides and everything for today and the other two days available online. Some of it is already online, others we will post afterwards. Um, if you have questions, ask us or us on the Slack. Uh, you can ask questions right now. There's no like uh, hardcore rules about you may not do stuff, you can just do anything. Uh, but please be respectful and kind. Uh, you can also mail us if you have questions. If you uh, don't want to ask it out loud, we can ask it for you, that type of thing. We have a code of conduct. We want to be inclusive. We want to make it, uh, um, what do you call it, like safe for everyone. We want to 
let you have an environment where you can be free of harassment. And we noted all of the important things in this code of conduct that you can click on this link for. If you want to make a report, you can do that anonymously or you can make it directly to one of us. So Remy and uh, Sophie, there's Remy. And Sophie, I think she's down at registration. You can go to them directly or you can do it anonymously or you can uh, mail us. Uh, so please feel free to use that. Then we want you to give feedback, please. Um, there are some poster boards, if you walk down the stairs on the left-hand side, uh, where we put these things and some sticky notes. So if you think of st stuff that's cool, please write it down. If you think of stuff that is not so cool, but it can improve, then please write that down as well. And if you make really good suggestions, you can be on the organizing committee for next year. <laughs> um, OK, so what are we doing? I have one minute left. Uh, so open MR Benlux, open, open science, MRI, I guess that uh, message is kind of clear for most people. Um, and when you talk about open science, you always see this umbrella, um, which is nice because it's an umbrella term. And everyone knows that open science means a lot of things, um, like open access, open educational resources, open source, etc. And we are here at this event to discuss a lot of these types of things in the field of MRI. But I, uh, probably mostly lately, um, but generally I don't like this umbrella anymore. So I feel like that. Um, because people are starting to use open science as like a heat word, it's becoming more of a hype. Um, we should do open science, let's create a badge because you shared something and that's cool. Um, so, and personally, I think we should uh, try and move away from just naming something open science and creating an open science event and then doing open science. Um, because essentially that is on a very high level. And w as people who do research, you know that the, the devil or the angel or whatever the thing is, is in the details. Um, and if you look at the details, <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff that's broken uh, in what we do. Um, so uh, people are overworked. Um, I'm not qu quoting a lot of sources because this is not an academic talk, but we know this to be true. The people are overworked. Uh, the incentives in academia is, is screwed up. Um, there's a lot of uh, malpractice. There's a lot of, not necessarily malpractice or fraud, there's a lot of things that we just don't do in the way that we could do more robustly uh, etc. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can fix in science and also in the world. Um, so <laughs> if we think about open science and the words as a hype versus like concrete problems and challenges for us, uh, again in my opinion, I think as a, a, a community uh, we should try and, and focus on solving these things and, and addressing or starting to address these challenges and then being open is a way towards that. Um, it is not a goal. It's not, let's do open science. Yay, we share data. We're cool now. Um, it is, there are hardcore problems in the world. Let's try and come together, create a community wherever we can in the field of MRI and, and use different ways of, of trying to address concrete problems that we have in the academy, in the world. Um, yeah. I thought I should have showed this slide earlier. <laughs> this is basically just to see, like, to say sometimes we kind of revel in this uh, environment. We're like, uh, yes, the incentives are screwed up, but let's just apply for another grant. Let's just try and win the Nobel Prize. Let's just like hit hard and, and carry on as if nothing is burning. Uh, but I don't think we should. So I think uh, uh, the idea behind this community is not just let's learn about open science and MRI, which is important and which we are going to do and which will be most of what we're doing here at this event. But I would like for us to focus on um, something more than just the words open science and the tools to get us there. Uh, because I believe that a lot of the things that could be useful for us could flow from addressing like lower level challenges. So. We should work on including more people in what we do in the community. We should work on not competing as much, but collaborating. Um, we should work from 
these themes, uh, and then I think necessarily a lot of the good practices will follow. Um, and there's a bunch of others that I like. But in general, it is being kinder, uh, being collaborative, um, <coughs> helping, uh, supporting, being mentoring, uh, being a good mentor, that type of thing. So I would like for this community to, to, to kind of hook onto some of these themes and figure out how we can build that into our practices, and then uh, world peace. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs>